them down the cliff. You must go along until you reach a region where a canyon might run back into the cliff. The cliffs are much higher than they appear at first, and even reaching their base will prove difficult. At a certain point, you may find it necessary to leave your horses and continue on foot. Say, maybe we could fill the gully enough to get the horses up. The Eagle Feather will aid you to overcome whatever may stand in your way. Maybe that's it. In a canyon that runs back from the cliff is the home of the mystic people. Boy, that's some cliff dwelling. The houses are so high above straight walls that you will find it very difficult to get to them. To reach the dwelling, the mystic people could travel on lightning and rainbows, which they summoned at will. My friends worked long and hard, helping me until I finally reached the top. Then, when one tried to push the other up, they lost their balance and fell to their death. It was for protection against unfriendly tribes that the mystic people built their houses in the cliff. When our people first came to this land as hunters, living on game and sleeping in crude shelters, the mystic people were making beautiful pottery and weaving fine cloth. They were descendants of the gods, and they had mystic powers. This is why we call them the mystic people. Here, let me give you a boost. See the man? Let me try those footholds. We're gonna need the pickaxe, and I'll have to take off my boots. of the cliff differ in hardness. Whatever footholds there may have been above the lower rocks must have been worn away through the long years by rain and weather. In trying to climb, remember always to lean toward the cliff if you can. Never release one hand unless you have a firm hold with the other. Thank you. 
I guess we're stuck here. I don't see any way of getting over this ledge. There's a log set in the walls. Maybe I can throw the lariat over it. All right, pull it. The wood and rocks used long ago in building by the mystic people still stand or the cliff above protects them from the weather. The early heroes of our tribe visited the mystic people and learned from them the ways of the gods. The people of the cliff dwellings lived not only on what they killed, they knew how to make food grow out of the ground, beans and squash and corn, which they stored in the small room. From the corn they made cornmeal by grinding it between stones. They ground their corn here first. Then they ground it again here to make it finer. The people had to leave because a drought lasting more than 20 summers made it impossible for them to raise corn. The people also kept flocks of turkeys which they raised from wild turkeys they had caught. Sometimes the gods assemble in the cliff dwellings and when they come, they light the rooms with rainbows. Sometimes Hastayelte, the wise one, comes with his family to live for a time in a cliff dwelling. You never know whether Owl is really Owl, telling you something that may be true or false, or whether he is Hastayelte taking the form of Owl. Hey, Ziki, here's some pottery. Wherever you find Owl, there also may be Chindi to haunt whoever disturbs the things of the 